cucumbers on a trellis on a on a wire and a and a trellis you've made here. Uh, what's the advantage uh, besides there being a little easier to pick? There are other advantages to putting cucumbers on a trellis. Well, in the advantage in the case of the alley garden, the advantage is that here in a garden that's only six feet wide. Uh, we have cucumbers that are going up six feet. Vertical instead of You're horizontal. Right. Okay. right. You back them up against the fence and uh, you get them up in the light and it, al it allows you to grow other vegetables and uh, anything you want down in front. You selected, I noticed here, the Liberty uh, Hybrid, uh, which was an All-American selection. It is a new variety, I take it. Yes, it was an All-America winner in 1978. The uh, thing that impresses me about it is that it has multiple disease resistance. Uh, this, this, these plants are um, already about three months old, and I have seen no sign of powdery mildew, which is a, a very serious disease of cucumbers here in the summertime. And the other thing is that it, uh, it's been able to set cucumbers right through this heat that we've had. Uh, it's been setting now for about a month. Okay, you've got cucumbers going up, you got cucumbers going down. You're producing on both sides of the wire there, so to speak. Yes, the the uh, the tendrils of the young branches twine around, entwine around this uh, vertical support, which is just nothing more than heavy garden twine, or you can use baler twine as another good uh, support. And the plant grows up the trellis, then we simply flop the plant over and it grows down the other side. So you have a crop going up, then you have a crop coming as it, as it cascades down, and then we have actually have one uh, part of the vine here, which is uh, going along the ground, and, and we can, you can just tie that back up again, and you're all ready to go back up the trellis again. I understand your strings, your <laughs> cord here, need to be a coarse. They, don't, they, they shouldn't be slick in no. order for these little tendrils to grab hold and hold on. That's right. It needs to be a coarse twine, uh, either baler twine or a coarse garden twine, uh, so that the tendrils will not slip. If they slip, once you start to produce cucumbers, the whole thing will slide down and land on the bottom. Dr. Roberts, some folks say I had a beautiful cucumber crop, and when I picked them, they were bitter. What's the reason for that? Many of the older varieties, Bob, are, uh, are what we call uh, bitter. They have a bitter principle, which uh, seems to concentrate near the surface, at the skin, at uh, the blossom end. Uh, the horticultural geneticists have managed to breed most of that bitter principle out of the newer hybrids, and uh, Liberty, as far as I can tell so far, even through this heat, is entirely free of this bitterness. Yep. I understand cucumbers yep. is a crop that the more you pick, the more they make. That's right. This one, uh, this one in particular, which is a uh, it's technically known as a pickling variety, but uh, we prefer it for uh, fresh slicing use, and we don't allow them to get too large at all. This, uh, this is about as large as we would wish a uh, cucumber to be, about four inches long and about an inch in diameter. And uh, when they're picked at this stage, uh, they're very tender. The, the skin is hardly there. You don't... Uh, you hardly see it at all. You wouldn't be concerned about peeling that cucumber no. before eating it. Then. No, you just wash them and uh, and to slice them directly into the directly into the salad. It should be nice and crisp. It is very good. Now the one you have in your hand here, that's uh, unless you were growing them for seed, you wouldn't want one this side, would you? No. By the time uh, you you can't expect them to get much longer than about four inches. Now, there's nothing, if you wanted to make bread and butter pickles or the large pickles, this would be all right. But you see, you've got a lot of seed development in there. And uh, it, it's not as nice quality as this younger cuke. The other thing is, when you allow these to develop to that size, it shuts off production above it. So you don't get as many uh, young cucumbers forming. When do you normally plant cucumbers to get production this time of the year? We put these out as uh, two-week-old plants back in the middle, uh, well, latter part of April. Uh, you can direct seed, uh, oh, in early to mid-May down here on the South Plains. Uh, but you can get about two to three weeks uh, earlier growth by putting out plants. Once they start producing, how long will they produce? Until fall? 
As long as you keep watering every other to every third day, and these now have been side dressed twice with nitrogen, um, at the rate of about, oh, we use a tablespoon, a level tablespoon of nitrogen for about every 10 feet of row. Uh, as long as this is done, uh, they'll produce over a two to three month period. Are there other varieties that, uh, do you have a good selection of varieties and what yes. would determine what variety you'd want to plant here uh, in, uh, in, the, in the South Plain? The main thing to look for in a variety description is that it has powdery mildew uh, resistance because that's what, uh, that's the uh, most serious disease of cucumbers here. There are several other varieties, uh, Pioneer, Explorer, the hybrids are going to be more prolific. Uh, there is uh, there is a number of uh, there's a number of uh, slicing cucumbers. Uh, the two I just mentioned, uh, the Pioneer and the Explorer, are picklers. There are slicing cucumbers like the Sweet Slice and the Burpless that uh, will grow up to 13, 14 inches long. Doctor Roberts, one thing I think we need to point out here, if you have an alley garden like you have here or a small garden, you wouldn't necessarily want to pick the variety. In fact, you wouldn't want to pick the varieties in many cases that they would pick if they were grown commercially. That's right, and that's why I like this Liberty. This Liberty has both the uh, male and female flowers on the plants. Some of the commercial varieties today have just the uh, female flowers on the plants, and their picking or harvest period would only be two to three weeks. This one, as I said, has already been uh, bearing for a month, and uh, I expect the way it's growing will go for another month. So it's, it's definitely a home garden variety, this Liberty. Another day in the People Place Alley Garden with Dr. Roland Roberts, area vegetable specialist with the Texas Extension Service, and now back to Alice French.